Where is the brother from Ghana? People may not understand the magnitude of these problems because they do not see. And many of us, if we don't see, we don't believe. But I just want to let you know that this is why they came from Ghana. Because of this problem, inability to walk, numbness. And right here in the synagogue today, anointed sticker was given to them. The team was telling me that they didn't want to arrange this man. Today. But that is him here standing with us. <laughs> only believe. Only believe. you have is in your heart. You heard him. He received the sticker. He began to meditate. Father, I am here for you. I have come to seek your face. Reveal yourself to me. And he received. Brother, I pray your miracle will remain permanent in the name of Jesus. Christ. The battle that God Almighty has fought and won in your life shall never raise their ugly head again. It is well with you. So, sir, you're very welcome. Can you tell us your name and share with us your wonderful testimony? Thank you. My name is Martin Yao Akoto. I come from Ghana. The person beside me is my lovely wife, Patience Akoto. And then the next is my brother, Henry Akoto. Uh, it all goes like this. On the 22nd of January, I, before that, I'm a health educator and a counselor. I worked in one of the second largest hospitals in Ghana as a counselor in the diabetes center. So on that fateful day, that's on the 22nd of January, I prepared to go to work. And all of a sudden, I don't know what happened. And I fell down from the staircase, from the top to down. And I could not do anything to myself. So I crawled and climb up again to the, uh, the, the f uh, floor. I struggled and I got hold of my phone and I tried to call the workplace, which they sent two health personnel to come to my age. In fact, when they came, they found that truly I was in pain and I could not do anything. So they quickly drove me to the hospital for medical attention. They treated me and was discharged home. I 
I stayed home for one week and went back to see the doctor again. On medication, he told me um, he was going to add um, some of the medications to the previous one for me to go home and continue with the medication again. So I went. The second review time after two weeks, I went back again and it was the same thing. So I decided to go to uh, another hospital that I was diagnosed of uh, difficulty in walking, uh, numbness of feet and uh, hands. That's the paralysis of the hands. Over there, I was also uh, giving some medications again, in addition to the previous one, though the, some of them were removed. So I started. In fact, this continued for a while till recently. I was not seeing any improvement. So upon watching Emmanuel TV, I told my wife that we need to visit Synagogue Church of All Nations. So before you go on, can you tell us how did this problem affect you? Hmm. That's horrible. In fact, I, as at that time, I could not, because my hands were paralyzed, I could not use the hands to do anything, not, either, neither to eat nor even hold a cup, spoon, anything, even to bath alone became a problem. It became a big problem for me. So um, it was my wife who has been bathing me, feeding me, and giving me my medication. Yeah, so upon watching Emmanuel TV, I called her and I told her that, no, we have to come to the big house and seek for the glory of God. She also admitted, and we got prepared three days ago and came here. This morning, when we prepared at the hotel to come to church, in fact, things became very difficult for me. Right in the hotel, I started feeling heat in my feet. So I complained to her, and she said, no, I shouldn't worry. Once we are here, God is going to do everything for us. And I said, that's right. I also believe so. So we set off. As soon as we got out of the, uh, the gate, I realized I could not throw my legs again. But I told them, we will go. So they supported me on the, their, uh, their shoulders with my hands. I felt I could not. I tried, but the legs became so heavy for me and I could not throw them. So they decided for us to pick uh, uh, a, a, a bike. And I said, no, I'm walking to the house of the Lord. So we continued. Then I realized I started sweating all over and my throat became dried. We struggled to the gate over here when we requested for some water for me to drink. And the evangelist gave me some water. So after drinking that water, I became a bit relieved. And then we continued to the canopy where we were directed to sit. So I was given a chair and sat down. And the evangelist came to greet us and encourage us upon the faith, how we should build on the faith and trust in the Lord for anything that we have come here to do. And we should know that God is in control of whatever we have come here to do. So later, he um, 
told us that our mother, Pastor Evelyn Joshua, has sent them to give us this uh, morning uh, anointing stickers. And upon the faith that we have, we shouldn't bother that we are not touched at all. And this is going to do everything for us. So we should believe and increase our faith as we are sitting here. So I said, I thank God for this. And I told myself that today I am not going home the same as I, I, I came here. So suddenly I took the the anointing stickers and placed them on my chest. Then I started meditating, telling God to heal me and let me not go home as same as I came here. So I was on those words and I told him, if he is able to do this for me, I will stand and give testimony to his glory. So I, I meditated for about 20 minutes. Then I felt very light in my left leg. And then the thing just went to the right side also. Ah, I checked myself. I said, what am I seeing? I turned, I turned ah, on a chair. So I told my brother, I feel um, there is something going on in my system. And now I think I can walk. He's, he asked me, ah, how? And I said, no, God has done miraculous work for me. That clap is not enough for the miracle working God. Shall we put our hands once again for the miracle working God? So, sir, you, you mean you came to the synagogue church of all nations with a problem of difficulty in walking, and your brothers and sister assisted you to the church. Right. And after obeying the instruction in righteousness, you pressed in to touch Jesus by meditating and praying along with the anointed stickers. And tell us, how do you feel now? In fact, after I told him of what I was experiencing, I just got up and walked across the road. So, on my return, I started praising God that I can walk now. So, can you demonstrate that newly found freedom in Christ Jesus? Yes, I can. So, this is how I am walking now. First, I could not throw my legs to do anything. But after that, I'm able to walk now. I can walk in Jesus' name. You mean you couldn't do that, that before? No, at all. At all. But now, can you show us once again? Can you show us once again? Oh, I can walk in Jesus' name. I can walk in Jesus' name. So we put our hands once again for the miracle walking God. This was a man who came here with a problem of difficulty in walking, with numbness in both feet and hands. And now you can see him demonstrating his newly found freedom in Christ Jesus. People of God, shall we put our hands together for the miracle-working God? <laughs> 